All right, let's take a look at another example finding derivatives of inverse functions. So we have arctangent. Right? Remember that arctan of x, this is another way of writing this is tan inverse like this. Um, but generally, we use this, this arctan notation so that we uh, don't confuse ourselves with the reciprocal. Right? So arctan of x. So that's going to be our inverse function, which means the original function f of x, we could think about that just like tangent of x, right? And if I compose those two functions, I'll get x out of it. Um, just like usual, uh, we're going to need to know whatever f prime is. So if f is tangent of x, then f prime of x, hopefully we remember from uh, derivatives of trig functions, that's going to be secant squared of x. Right. So uh, to find the derivative we're actually interested in, right, the derivative of r tan, we just go back to our formula here and we say, okay, it's 1 over f prime of f inverse. Right. So f prime was secant squared x. But that x is going to be replaced, right? We're not just doing the regular f prime. We need to toss that f inverse in there. So this is going to be secant squared of our inverse function, arctan of x. Now, again, remember one thing. This is not multiplication, right? This is one of those secant squared of arctangent of x. Uh, this is a pretty ugly result. So we might want to manipulate it a little bit. So one thing to remember, this is a, a nice identity to have, is that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1. And we can manipulate that a little bit, right? This is, this is kind of our, our most important Pythagorean identity. But if we divide everything through uh, by cosine squared, then we can get a new identity that deals with different functions. So divide the first part of this by cosine squared. So sine over cosine is tangent, but I've got sine squared over cosine squared. So tangent squared plus, okay, cosine squared divided by itself, that's just going to be 1. And then 1 divided by cosine squared, that's going to be secant squared. Okay, why am I bothering with this thing? What's the whole point of this? Well, it allows us to rewrite this bottom part. So I'm going to replace secant squared of arctan x. I now have a replacement for secant squared. So it's going to be 1 plus tan squared, not of x like in the original uh, version of this, right? Because we have something else on the inside. So tan squared of arctan x. OK, but tangent and arctangent, right, that's what we started with. Those are inverse functions. So if I compose those, I just get x out of there. And I have this little square. So we get something really, really nice to happen. We still have just that 1 on top. But we have 1 plus, again, these composed just gives us x, and then we square it. So 1 plus x squared. So we started with something kind of ugly. We were able to get something that's actually pretty nice.